Let's explicitly show place value and then understand what they mean. So we're going to do fair sharing. I'm going to take this amount of stuff, 1,071, and I'm going to give it equally to 63 people. Imagine some sort of picture in your head. We have 63 people. You're going to give all of your stuff to them in an equal way. One way to do that is to pass out large groups at a time. So that's what place value actually allows us to do. First, we're going to start here. Can I pass out to all 63 people just one thing or one thousand dollar bill, just one thing? No, we cannot, not equally. So that's why we're going to put a zero in the thousands column. If we are fair sharing, we cannot share thousands equally among 63 people. So each thousand has how many hundreds in it? 10, right? So there are 10 one hundreds here. We still have ten one hundreds when I look at the place value. We are going to give people zero hundreds because we cannot evenly have sixty three people cannot evenly get ten things. We cannot split zero things right here evenly among sixty three people. So that leaves 10 hundreds still left over. Can 63 people get 10 things evenly? No, so let's move on to the tens. So we're gonna move on to this place. Each hundred has how many tens in it? 10, right? So 10 tens make 100. And we have 10 of those. That means that we have 10 tens. Plus 7 more makes 107 here or 107 tens. So since we have 107 tens and we have 63 people, we can give each person one ten. So each person's going to get one ten. This means that we have 63 tens used up. So how many tens are left? We have 44 tens left. Over here we have one one in the ones place or one one so if we make this these 44 tens into ones we're going to change that to 440 ones so this changes 440 ones so all of these are already used up 440 ones plus we're going to add one one to it makes 441 ones so now we have used that up. Now we gotta distribute the ones. So if you're not sure what number 63 can be multiplied by to get 441 evenly, then we can break up this problem a different way. So let's do something that we know. So we know that 63 times one is 63. So we can just keep on adding 63. So we know that 63 times 1, 63. So let's just add those two numbers together. When we do that, we get 126. So that's getting us closer to 441. So then we'll just keep on adding 63 times 1. So 126 plus 63 is 189. Then we're going to add another 63 to it. So 
to get 252. So we're getting closer, but we're not quite there yet. So 252, we're going to add another 63. And you get 315. We're almost there, so 63 times 1. This time you're going to get 378. As you can see, we keep getting closer and closer to 441. So let's add another 63 times 1 to it. when you do that, you should get 441. But now, how many times did we multiply 63 by to get our final answer? Well, to do that, we can just count how many 63's we have written. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now we know that 63 times 7 is 441. So we can write 7 in our other problem. So now that we just found out that that number is 7, we know that we can plug in 7 right here. So 63, 7 times, we know is 441. So we're going to subtract those because we took away 441. We used up 441 from 441. And when you do that, you get 0. I can, so this is saying that I can pass out 17 things to all 63 people and I will completely use 1,071 things up.